Hey, this is Nate Story with Bright Agri Tech, and today we're down here at Bayberry Fresh with the owner, Hayden Christensen, and uh, we're gonna walk you through how Hayden mixes and doses nutrients in his commercial hydroponic system. Dosing your nutrients is a really important part of system management. Today we're gonna walk you through the steps of dosing your system with dry nutrients. So in Hayden's hydroponic system, he uses a three-part solution. And I'm just gonna ask him a few questions here about the solution he uses and how he mixes it. So tell us about the first part of the fertilizer mix that you use, Hayden. So the first part is a uh, commercial lettuce formula. Uh, the second part, your calcium nitrate and Epsom salt. Okay, so um, it's important to note that all of these solutions are formulated. So Hayden is actually buying a formulated solution. The nice thing about these commercially available formulated solutions is that you can basically pick the solution to meet the needs of your crop. So Hayden's using a fairly general solution right now because he's got a lot of different things in his system. So um, tell us how you mix this, Hayden. So just uh, go by the bag on the directions. Uh, for this particular stuff, you do a half pound of the mix, a half pound calcium nitrate, and 0.31 pounds of magnesium sulfate per 100 gallons of water. Um, so if I wanted to mix the whole thing, it would be about 300 gallons. I'd do 1.5 pounds and uh, one pound of magnesium sulfate. Um, so yeah. Yeah, so all of these different fertilizers have pretty specific instructions. So when you buy them from the manufacturer, this one hat comes from uh, Hydro Gardens. Um, they're a Colorado company here, and they produce some really great stuff. Um, but it's interesting to note you have your usually your main nutrient mix, and this is kind of your micronutrients, uh, most of your potassium, phosphorus, all that stuff, a little bit of nitrogen. But most of your nitrogen comes in the second part of this mix, which is, of course, your calcium nitrate. And that's where you're getting your calcium, most of your calcium for your system, as well as most of the nitrogen for the system. So the MPK rating on the general mix here is always going to be a little bit lower. You'll see that the nitrogen content is pretty low on this stuff. We make up for that with calcium nitrate. And then, of course, um, the magnesium almost always comes into the system in the form of an Epsom salt. And there was one thing you wanted to note on the Epsom salt, Hayden. If you're not buying it, if you're not buying it in bulk from like your fertilizer supplier, if you're just buying it locally, there are some things that you, you noted on buying local Epsom salt. Yeah, so if you get local Epsom salt, I usually get mine at the grocery store just because it's the cheapest around. Absolutely make sure you check the ingredient list and the front of the box and make sure you get just pure Epsom salt. A lot of uh, Epsom salts come with lavender scent or rosemary or something like that. You, you can't use those in your hydro system, so absolutely make sure you get some it's pure. So first off, Hayden here is going to um, get some of this uh, general nutrient solution here and uh, he's going to measure out. How much are you measuring out here? I'm going to do a half pound. Half pound of this stuff. It's good to note here that um, it's nice to have a scale that you can use in your greenhouse, so you don't have to necessarily mix this somewhere else. A nice little um, uh, portable scale like this is really handy for mixing this stuff up. Okay, so now comes the calcium nitrate, and uh, he's gonna do half a pound of this too, right? Correct. Makes it easy. Now one thing to note with the calcium nitrate is this stuff is not super soluble. So sometimes you've got to coax it into dissolving in solution by using some warm water and dissolving it separately. Not all the time. Some people can just mix it all together and it works for them. But depending on, you know, a lot of different variables, the hardness of your water and um, temperature, all that stuff, sometimes you have to mix your calcium nitrate separately from the other ingredients. So this is the Epsom salt. How much of this are you using? I'll do 0.31 pounds. So with the Epsom salt, um, yeah, this is this is going to vary depending on the mix that you're using. This is the important thing with this is each mix requires different ratios of ingredients. Um, you're about to have a big old clump there fall in. <laughs> um, e each of these uh, nutrient solutions requires a different ratio of nutrients to be mixed. So make sure you're reading your labels, reading the directions really carefully. So there we have it, 
three components of, of nutrient mix, and this is enough for 100 gallons, you said. Correct. Just do a quick addition, top it off. Great, so uh, next, why don't you show us how you actually mix it into your system. So when it comes to mixing these nutrients, Hayden's gonna start mixing here. And what he's gonna do is he's gonna take the nutrients that he's already basically measured out, he's gonna add them to this bucket, and he's gonna add water to this bucket. So um, what he does is, is kind of unique. Everyone has their own style of doing this. But he's gonna add all of these nutrients, and then uh, as it, they dissolve, he's gonna dump off the top 50% of this bucket because he's got a strong feel for how much nutrient solution his system needs. And then he's gonna re-dilute and dump, re-dilute and dump. He's gonna do that a few different times. A lot of folks will choose to dissolve their nutrients into separate buckets, get good dissolve um, on all of them, the first go around, and then mix all of those together in their own bucket or mix them together in the mixing tank. Hayden is adding these nutrients to his sump tank and um, that's one way you can do it. If you're just beginning, I would recommend adding it to your mixing tank. Uh, at the end of the day, the best way to do it is to add them in a way that mixes your nutrients with your, with your nutrient solution in your system most effectively. For Hayden, that means putting these nutrients in his sump tank, his pump pumps those up and actually uh, it, there's some turbulence from that pump in the sump tank and that mixes his nutrients with, in his mixing tank much better than if he just dumped them directly into his mixing tank. So Hayden is doing this by hand. He's doing it the old fashioned way. And um, you'll see he's just basically adding these nutrients to his, his uh, system because he's got a really good feel for his system. Everyone's system is a little bit different and everyone's system kind of has its own personality. Hayden's been doing this for long enough that he knows exactly what his system wants. If you're just getting started, I would recommend testing as you go to make sure that you're not adding too much nutrients to your system or too few. So um, keep that in mind if you're just getting started. Make sure you're mixing them in the way that's going to mix it into your solution the most effectively and the most quickly. And make sure that you're testing as you go to make sure that you're not adding too much or too little when it comes to your nutrient solution. A uh, quick tip for mixing solution, if you use a high pressure hose or a high pressure nozzle and really spray it in there with that fertilizer, that turbulence will help you get it dissolved better. So I usually run my hand around the base of the bucket at least once or twice while I'm mixing because the calcium nitrate can crust to the bottom. That way you just ensure that you get it all off of there and in the water column so it can dissolve properly. Thanks so much for watching. If you're interested in commercial hydroponics using Zipcrow towers, check out baybaryfresh.com.